Welcome back to PSC Tech Byte. Today I'm thrilled to say that Microsoft on January 15, 2024 made it possible to have a Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365 for businesses of any size. So in the past there was a requirement to buy at least 300 licenses, now they removed that requirement and you can buy as many licenses as you like, can be 1, can be 3, can be 10, can be 1000, up to you. Microsoft Copilot is now available as Copilot Pro for individual users or it can be available as Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365, which is the one I'm really interested in. The requirements for using a Copilot in Microsoft 365 are to have an Office or a Microsoft 365 E3 or E5 plan or a Microsoft 365 Business Standard and Business Premium license. So whenever you have one of these licenses, you can also buy a license of Microsoft Copilot for your Microsoft 365 tenant. And in order to buy it, you can either use the admin center of Microsoft 365 if you want to do it autonomously, or you can rely on a Microsoft Cloud Solution Provider. When you buy and you install and activate Microsoft Copilot in your Microsoft 365 tenant, you can then use it in Microsoft Teams, for example, with the Microsoft 365 chat, or with the message composition, or in the intelligent recap of meetings and stuff like that. As well as you can use it in the Office client applications like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. You can also use it on Outlook Mobile and in many more places. And you can also leverage the extensibility of Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Copilot using the graph connectors and the Copilot plugins. So, starting from today, we will have a look at what you can do with Microsoft Copilot. And first of all, now we are going to say how you can activate it in your target tenant. So, in order to enable Copilot in your tenant, uh, you have to go to Billing, Purchase Services, and there you will find the Microsoft 365 Copilot uh, button here. You click on it, you read the condition and all of the information, and you accept them. You click on the Continue button, and you will be brought to the UI to create a new billing account uh, for your company. You fill it in. You have to confirm your identity, providing a mobile phone number which will be called or which will receive a text code. You send the verification code to your mobile device by providing the verification code, you will have verified your identity. And once you have done that, you have created the new billing account. So you will be brought back to the UI where you can choose how many licenses you want and if you want to pay for one year or if you want to pay for three years in advance the amount for your Microsoft 365 Copilot. By doing that and by choosing the number of licenses that you want to have, you are then ready to buy and to proceed. You can also compare uh, eventually additional details about the Microsoft 365 Copilot license as well as you can see what the prerequisites are. So as you can see you need to have a Microsoft 365 E3 or E5 license or a business premium or a business standard license. Then you can click on the buy button and through this pop-up panel you can double check what you are going to buy. In case you will have to configure a billing profile, providing a credit card number and a VAT code and all stuff like that, you will have to do that before being able to buy the actual license. So here, for example, I'm creating a billing profile and I'm providing a credit card which will be used to bill the price for the Microsoft 65 Copilot license. In case I need to provide a tax ID or a VAT code, I will also be prompted to do that through the interface. As like as I'm going to see here, I have to add my tax ID. I will be brought to a new page where I can do that. I can provide, for example, for my Italian company, a VAT code and a fiscal code. And once I'm done with that, I can simply save and uh, I can go back uh, to the preview UI to complete my purchase. So I click again on the buy button. I will be able to uh, complete my purchase by clicking on the place order button. It will take a while to place the order and to assign the licenses to my account. And once it will be done, 
we will see that we have got the uh, uh, purchase done in our tenant. I can also see that I've got a confirmation email by Microsoft with the uh, recap of the uh, bill that I'm going to pay. And once I'll go back to my management portal of Microsoft 365, I will be able to click on the Manage Your New Microsoft 365 Copilot Early Access Program Pass and I will be able to see that I've bought three licenses in this scenario of Microsoft 365 Copilot. And now I can assign those licenses to the target users. I simply need to click on the Assign Licenses link and I will be brought to the UI through which we can assign the new licenses to the target users, as like as we can do with any other license in Microsoft 365 admin portal. So I click on Assign Licenses, I search for the users that I want to target with this assignment. In this scenario, I bought three licenses, so we are not anymore required to buy at least 300 licenses, but I just bought three of them. And I'm going to assign them to three users in my company and once I've done with that I can click on assign and the licenses will be assigned to those. We can also send a welcome message to inform the user that we have assigned them the licenses and once we are done with the assignment we can go back to the UI and proceed with other assignments and eventually we can also assign licenses by groups and not only by users. We can also go back to this page by going to Billing Your Products and selecting from the list of products the Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365 license and we can still see a recap of the assigned licenses in my tenant. Now, in Microsoft Teams, once I have Copilot activated for my user account, I can simply search for the Copilot app, as you can see here, I can add it to my Teams client and from here I can play. First of all, I can have a suggestion about the prompts that I can use in the Microsoft 365 chat to interact with my Copilot instance, or if I want, I can simply rely on a custom prompt of my own. So, for example, here I'm using a predefined prompt to get a list of fun ideas for remote team building, but it could be something else based on a custom prompt of my own. Whenever you play with Copilot, remember also to give a feedback so that Microsoft can improve the quality of the service based on your feedback. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and stay tuned because in the upcoming weeks we will see how you can use Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365 as well as we will see how you can extend it from a developer point of view. Thank you.